What up, dogs? Welcome back to Guard Tax of Your Heroes. We're right. Let's get right back into it, shall we? Uh, first things first, uh, I'm gonna name our last episode real quick. Sorry, that's uh. That's okay, I'm just going to my files here. Guard Tax of Your Heroes 196, part 1. There it goes. I can probably upload it now because that previous uh, video has uploaded, I believe. Let's say, uh, yeah, let's go ahead. Yep, definitely upload it. So let's do 196, part 1. 196 part one yes it's gonna come out April 5th at noon once again it's gonna come out April 5th all right publish it publish it yes that's gonna take a minute to upload that's pretty good good stuff yeah we can level up Alice I know I know Fuck out of here, dog. Yeah, I know what I'm doing here. It's not until we get OG that shit really actually matters. So calm your tits, okay? I need I need you, your tits to relax. Relax your breasts, please. De-stress your breasts, if you will. Mm. I can, uh, undo the calamity that is your memories. Oh yeah. <laughs> that was a good one. Um, and, uh, I, I can't think of any more. I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm not high enough to be uh, to be able to think creatively. Okay, that's actually a myth, kids. Okay, if there's actual kids watching, I don't want to set a bad example. Okay, um, what's it called? Uh, smoking weed and getting high does not actually increase your creativity. It only gives you the confidence to be able to bring it out uh, confidently in yourself that you already have. What weed actually does is it does make you stupider and it makes you less creative um, by, by default, by design, because creative people have to be smart by fucking definition. Um, so once in a while it's fine. It'll, it'll give you some ridiculously interesting ideas. Uh, and weird thoughts, but if you do it enough, you're gonna kill enough brain cells to the point where it's like it's not worth it anymore. And in fact, you've done irreparable damage to your brain, and uh, so on and so forth and stuff. You're not gonna—I'm not gonna give you false advertising and be like it'll kill you. It'll just make you really, really stupid. The same as like fucking like alcohol, dog. Except alcohol can kill you, so that's actually worse, which is weird because that's legal. Um, <laughs> But you know, do whatever you want with your body. I'm not telling you how to live your life. I'm just saying, uh, everyone who tells you that weed's gonna kill you is a liar, and everyone t that tells you that weed's gonna make you more um, more creative is also a liar. Everyone's always got ulterior motives, man. Whenever people bring up weed in a positive light, they're always like, it's it's to make people like excited about it and passionate about it to the point where it becomes legal again again or it just doesn't become illegal anymore i guess that's the best better way to put it and you know literally yeah literally that's all it is because they want it to be legal they're painting it in this light that makes it better than what it actually is you should know you should know the dangers of smoking you should know the you know the inherent risks and uh but uh but no one should ever lie to you about the dangers and the risks there's uh there's one of my friends who uh it's like never smoking ever again because one of her friends had a really bad reaction to it uh and it's it's really a sad story actually let me let me get, let me get it, drop a little bit of a knowledge on your ass here uh with the, the, with the sadness the story of the sadness here okay as we get og holy shit fucking rolling in it right now oh geez gonna be so sick but anyways okay so let's tell the sad story here yeah okay so my friend was smoking weed with a bunch of her friends uh from like her school she's like the philosophy major at nyu she's you know nyu it might be somewhere else it might be the new school or something i think it is actually the new school but uh or is it no it's not the new school because everyone else is at the new school she's not i think she's trying to transfer regardless it doesn't matter uh, it's, uh, what does matter is that, you know, she was having, smoking, smoking good times with her friends. 
Gentai and whatnot. And one of her friends, who is sort of like a like a lonerish dude, kept to himself, a little bit quiet. He's he's there too, and he's having fun. Everyone loves you know bringing the loner, the kind of quiet, shy dude. Uh, into the mix because then they're like, yeah, when they get high or drunk or whatever, then their real personality comes out and we can finally know what the fuck they're being so quiet about. You know, it's either really, really hilarious, good, and fun, or it's really, really bad idea. Uh, but most people think it's just hilarious regardless, uh, even if it's a really bad idea. So, um, which I guess is a little bit of foreshadowing for uh, what's to come in this story, but, um, but so yeah, so they're smoking, and you know the loner's having fun. He's starting to be a little bit more, um, you know, open and friendly, and just talking with people and stuff. And they, they, you know, they, of course, they have, whatever. What do you talk about when you get high? You talk about other times you got high, and oh, how high you are. <laughs> That's just basically everyone's talking. And the, here's the weird part, though. The guy who's high with him he's like yeah dude isn't it crazy how we're like seeing shit floating around around us and stuff i didn't know this is how it was when you got high and everyone's just like yeah dude yeah that's exactly <clears throat> what happens when you get high you see stuff hallucinate and whatnot totally yeah it's fine so at the point at that time everyone just thought he was either once again being weird lonely dude or um or maybe the they like some people started being a little bit paranoid being like oh maybe this shit's laced with stuff but you know you know behind his back of course they'd be like Yo, you're not seeing any stuff are you because i'm not and everyone like okay everyone eventually figured out that the only person seeing stuff and hallucinating was this kid and they couldn't understand why. Maybe it's just some some wrong with his brain chemistry. What? It, it doesn't matter. I guess maybe he's at, or maybe it's just like his first time and he's getting sued because it was his first time smoking weed. I forgot to mention this. It was this kid's first time smoking weed ever, uh, ever, ever, ever in his life. And everyone. Then this is also like why people were excited to bring him with. He's like, oh, it's, we're gonna you know be there for his first time. You know, it's gonna be hilarious. Uh, watch him get so high. So they thought maybe like, oh, maybe he smoked way too much and he's starting to like get really, really fucking high. Who knows? Um, <coughs> so anyway, next day, everyone's like fucking, you know, hungover from all the, you know, weed and yeah, they had like drinks there too, I think. Yeah, so they're hungover from the drinks as well. And everyone's like going to school. And, yeah, they went to like classes and whatnot and blah, blah, blah. And then. Uh, during one of the classes, the, the loner kid comes up to, like, one of the other... I, I, don't, I don't think it was my friend, personally, um, but, um, but they come up to someone. And they're like, yo, how long does this weed last? And they're like, why? Why, 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 do, you, why do you say that? He's like, because all this shit that I've been seeing is, like, it just hasn't gone away yet. And the... That's when the dudes start thinking, oh shit, maybe something's up. Because everyone already is probably like done being high. Maybe once again it's like, oh, maybe it's this guy's first time. So maybe it's just taking him extra long, but, you know, they just double check to like, you know, just make sure and, you know, they go online, research a little bit, and, you know, and they figure out, no. It's not supposed to last this long. Absolutely not. Your body should have at least gotten rid of the effects beforehand. So, of course, the kids, you know, freaking out. They, I think they call an ambulance and send them to a hospital, see what's going on with them. Hospital doesn't know what's wrong with them. But, uh, but then they finally send them uh, to, like, a, I don't know, like a, the dude who studies brains or whatnot. And uh, it turns out, this is where it gets really sad. <laughs> Turns out that this dude is actually schizophrenic. Yeah. This 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 kid who has never smoked weed before in his life uh, is actually like chemically in his brain schizophrenic. He just didn't show any like physical symptoms or nothing until the first time he smoked weed, it's sort of like triggered like the chemical imbalances in his brain or whatever. Now he's starting to see shit. So it was only after the first time he smoked weed that uh, that his schizophrenia just was just like, oh, 
shit. Well, okay. Guess, guess, uh, guess it's time. It's time to do our job. So, so yeah. Now the kid is schizophrenic, and uh, he's probably taking a lot of drugs to like help him like cope with all that shit. And he's probably still a loner. And, Oh, it's so depressing, man. I'm sorry I shared that uh, story with you. It's not, uh, it wasn't fun at all. But, um, but yeah, my friend, this is basically the exact reason why she doesn't smoke weed anymore. It's not because she's afraid that she might also be schizophrenic, but she's like, yeah, she understood that. Like, uh, the, the way it fucks with your brain is not, like, a good way. Sure, it's fun, and sure, like, in moderation, it can be, like, fun. But if you do it too many, too much, yeah, you know, do it too much, and yeah, you know, it has a potential to like fuck with your brain chemistry in a way that's like irreversible. And uh, this sort of just like it proved it for her. Obviously, it was an extreme case. You know, it's not gonna happen to every single person who smokes weed. They're not gonna start seeing stuff and then find out magically. Oh shit, you, I'm actually schizophrenic. But it also, it sort of highlights the fact that for, uh, you know, it does affect your brain. It does affect it in a negative way uh, most of the time. But once again, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm not saying don't do it. I'm not saying if you do do it, stop doing it. Uh, I'm just saying, you know, be careful and don't look to it as like the fucking, like, uh, the messiah of drugs. You know, there's a reason why it's a drug. There's, there's also a bullshit reason why it's illegal. Uh, you know, it was, it was bullshit. Re the reason why it's illegal is because people thought it would replace, you know, paper products for like literally everything. Because hemp is so fucking versatile. Uh, that's why it became illegal because people just focused on the drug aspect of it and sort of like did like a smear campaign of it, which is shitty. Because if they did it. To think about all the fucking amazing uses that we could have for hemp these days and the amazing products from hemp that we could, you know, use. It would all smell shitty. It would all smell like patchouli incense, but it, it would be like very firm, like solid products. And uh, there would be like, a, you know, great, well, not great, but like very powerful and, you know, large money making companies that possibly and even like deforestation or something because of it because people use paper way too much uh you know, who knows maybe some of the products you're using now will, would have been replaced with hemp like uh your notebook instead of actual paper would be like hemp paper uh maybe the toilet paper that you use you're rubbing your ass with fucking leaves right there the hemp hemp paper uh toilet paper stuff who knows maybe literally everything made of paper in your life would be hemp by now if they had not done that smear campaign which you know you could see as a good thing or a bad thing it would maybe make the world smell a little bit shittier who knows but uh who knows and maybe maybe they would have uh, created like a uh, reagent uh that would um that would eliminate the smell too or maybe they just create strains that have very uh like subtle or non-existent smells who knows man who knows where the hemp company would have been at this point if there was never a smear campaign for its uh, drug uh, tendencies. But uh, but at the same time, you know, that's not what happened. And now it's illegal. But it's illegal for the wrong reasons. Um, but really, like, I don't I don't think it should have been legal in the first place. You know what should be illegal? You know, like heroin. You know, like, uh, you know, fucking um, cocaine. Cocaine should be illegal. Uh, do I think, uh, do I think, uh, you know, alcohol should still be illegal? Absolutely not. Do I think, uh, cigarettes should be illegal? Like the, you know, the anti-smoking campaigns, uh, fucking lobby for? Not, not even the slightest. Uh, but I don't think cigarettes and alcohol or, or even weed measure up to literally anything that happens to you from, like, heroin or cocaine or meth or nothing like that. Those are, those are narcotics. Those are opiates right there. Whereas these are recreational drugs. Yeah, people don't use like fucking. <laughs> they didn't use crack as a recreational drug. They use it as a fucking tool to fucking get away from their shitty lives. Uh, which, you know, you could argue that, you know, people use cigarettes and, uh, yeah, cigarettes and alcohol and weed to do the exact same thing. But people will use anything to get out of their shitty lives. They'll use bad television 
to get out of there, shitty lives. Look at these fucking video games. Oh, how apt uh, to get out of there, shitty lives. Uh, they'll use um, the chocolate or jogging or yoga. Dude, it literally everything distracts you from how shitty your life is. Um, only someone like I, who's woke. <laughs> oh, I've been waiting to use that. Uh, woke AF, woke as fuck like me. Uh, is gonna bring you to the harsh reality and tell you, yo, your life is kinda shitty. Uh, but who knows, maybe your life isn't shitty. Maybe you're born with, like, a ton of privilege. Uh, but the exact definition of being born with privilege is, you know, makes your life kind of shitty. Because, you know, you're, what are you doing with that privilege, my friend? You gonna better the world? Or are you just gonna be selfish? Well, you know, if you're gonna be selfish, then your life's shitty. If you're gonna better the world, then good for you, man. You've understood how life is supposed to work, and now you're using it to become a functioning member of society and better uh, the human race for our future children's um, benefit. Um, but yeah, enough about fucking life, I guess, because so far we've, uh, we've talked quite a bit about a lot of things. But, uh, but really... We're just waiting for uh, OG here to get up to level 1500 to see like where her progression is at. So far she hasn't slowed down at all. Let's see what happens in the next episode though. So like, subscribe, comment if you're enjoying the series thus far. I know I am. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Uh, peace out.